as annoying as it sounds, I can't put a number on how many places I've been to. I just don't know at this point. There will be times where someone will mention a place or something and I just suddenly remember, oh hey, I've been there. It's uh, it's pretty nice being able to have that problem, I guess. But it's not really that extravagant of trips. Usually it's just backpacking or camping, mostly in California. Uh, I've done all the national parks here. I've been basically everywhere here. My name is Brayden Gutierrez. I'm 21 years old. I've been traveling and camping mostly for about eight years now, give or take. Well, I started camping as more of a way to take pictures. Me and my brother got into it about the same time, and we had just watched Into the Wild, and we were both really inspired. But I was more interested in just taking photos of it. I re clearly remember telling him that I don't even care about the landscape, I just want to take pictures. And then slowly over time, I just kind of lost interest in the whole art side of it, and I just enjoyed going out and just being there was more important than taking pictures. And ever since then, I've just been enjoying the ride. The nice thing about camping, specifically, is that it's just so cheap to start. I, well, I, I, I had never gone camping in my life until me and my brother got into it. At our first camp, uh, we backpacked up in Fraser Mountain. We went up about eight miles in. Um, we called it a day there. I remember my pack was so heavy, but I got everything for $300 for that trip. I had won a photo contest, and I took all the prize money I got from that, and I put it straight into gear. It wasn't until about last year that I even bothered updating it, just because it was really heavy, bulky, and wasn't the best, but you can do any of this very cheaply, very affordably, and the most important thing is being out there. Right now, I, uh, I'm in school. This is my second time going to college. Hopefully this will be the last time I go to college. Well, my first time didn't go the best. That's when I really started to cling on to camping and traveling more as a way to escape all the mental issues that I had going on at the time. Being someone that has struggled with depression for years, it's hard to find things that'll level you out uh, mentally and emotionally. I've tried just about everything. I even went from drugs to racing cars. It's, uh, it's been a wild ride, but the one thing that I've always been able to do is just go somewhere. It's, uh, it's a nice way to leave everything you are behind you. You get to see this new place, and you essentially get to recreate yourself. Just for those moments, you get to be who you want to be, who you think you could be, and no one will know. The trees won't judge you. It's just, it's just you and who you wish you could be on a daily basis. And it's not just, it's not just an escape. It's, it's a lot more than that. I don't need to go out to escape myself. I, I go out to expand myself. No matter how many things I see, no matter how many experiences I have, it doesn't dwarf any of the little things. All these places nearby, it's it's still great. There's there's nothing better than just getting in your car, driving an hour, having a good time with your friends, and being in a beautiful place.